Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have a huge Dollar Tree haul for you guys and I have two cards that I just got in the mail. Um, I was really hoping that I would receive, um, I'm waiting for two more things from Shutterfly. I know my Christmas cards take a while, so that one I know I'm probably not gonna get. I'm probably gonna get those when I'm gone, which I really hope I don't. And my mother-in-law's birthday is on Monday and I ordered her a mouse pad for her office in her house. Her and my sister-in-law share it, and they both have their own computers in there. And she took my sister-in-law's mouse pad because she made one off Shutterfly, and I think it has a picture of just my, my daughter on it because Leland wasn't born at the time. So I was like, you know what? She wants one so bad, I'm gonna make her one. That'll be part of her birthday present. So I was hoping it would get here today. I'm hoping it might get here tomorrow so that way we can give her all her gifts on Sunday night when we go over for dinner. Anyways, long story short, right when I came home from the other Dollar Tree, the mailman was driving out of the mobile home park, so he dropped off mail. I have two cards here. One is from Shopping with Sue, and she put some stickers on there. There's a little gingerbread house. I thought I got one from you. I don't know I've received so many and I actually am gonna be hanging them up so stay tuned for that I'm not gonna show a DIY of it I'll just show you I'll tell you guys what I did but you guys will see it behind me so you're always up to something fun and then it has this really cute reindeer hope you have a merry one. Oh, you're so sweet and I I watch every one of your videos and you always say that you like to include something. So she sent me a little sheet of stickers. Be inspired. Express yourself. Shine bright. Just be you. Those are really, really cute. And this awesome watermelon sticker that I have a clear phone case that I can put this in on. And it'll look really cute. Thank you so much. Or I can always put it on my car or something. Or on the fridge. So thank you so much for that. It is so hot today. My kids are wearing shorts. I'm in a short sleeve. Leland Andrew. He's over here playing with my stuff. This one, I just opened it, sorry. Um, it's from my G, Triple G's. She decorated the front and the back. Has this really cute snowman with two little birds. Oh, she made me a little stocking sticker and it says my name on it. That is so cute. Hope your holidays are as smiling as a snowman's face. Thank you so much, Maji. I can't wait for you to get your Christmas gift. And then Susan, yours is gonna take a while because I have something special in mind for you, so. That I'll have to wait till after the holidays. But thank you so much, Sue and Maji, for the Christmas cards. Love them. Sue, you're sh you should be getting a Christmas card from me. And then Maji, I just added yours into your Christmas package. So I didn't worry about sending it out. So now we can get into this haul. Um, my store finally got these boxes in last night or like the night before and I saw them and I got super excited. I believe there's one more. Now I don't know if it's bigger or smaller, but there is three different sizes. So I picked up these two and I'm probably gonna save these for next year to decorate. Um, next year I do wanna decorate my white three-tiered tray and I'm hoping by then my son will be able to leave my stuff alone and I can put that on my coffee table or next to my couch and he'll leave it alone. because. When I got Sue's placemats, since there was six of them, I put one on my coffee table. I didn't even put anything on top of it just to see what he would do, and he just pulled it right down. And we did it about five times, and I was like, I I'm done. Like, there's just no way I'm gonna do this. So, I'm gonna save these for decor to decorate next year. Even though these are really cute, and I might use this smaller one for my sister-in-law for her gift card. If not, then I'll just save these. But I love these boxes. I think they are so pretty. Sorry about that. My son is just being a hot mess today. I picked up another one of these. Now the last time I hauled these, I hauled the round ones. They're two different sizes. This one's a square one. Um, 
I don't have a square tin. Most of them are all round. So my husband wants to give one of them to one of his coworkers. He's also one of his good friends. And he wants to like zip tie it and duct tape it and make him work for the treats because he never showed up for my son's birthday party. And my husband just won't let him live it down and gives him a hard time about it still to this day. So he was like, no, I'm going to zip tie that thing and duct tape it and he's going to get pissed, but I don't care. So I don't have this shape and I figured one of these might be better than a round one, but I'm not sure. Um, so I just wanted to pick up this one so that way my husband can see all the ones that I have and I'll let him choose which one he wants to do it on. Um, so I just went ahead and picked up this square one. Even if he doesn't choose this one, they're going to get used because I want to make some for my manager here. I just received a really pretty card from her. And I want to give her a card of the family, not like just a regular one from Dollar Tree. So I'm waiting for those to come in and then I'll give her a little container for the office, some goodies, and then our neighbors too. So even if I don't use this for one of the coworkers, I'll use it for somebody. I'm also going to be doing treats for my work coworkers, just a few of them. And then like my manager, she's awesome. I love her to death. She's still like, she is one of the best bosses I think I've ever had. So. Anyways, I think, oh no, I have two more, two more Christmas things. I also picked up this little blue snowflake candy dish. We were also putting these out the other night and I saw them and I really wanted it to be red, but then when I looked right now, my placemats, the ones that Sue got me are blue. So it actually looks okay sitting on top of it. And that little Santa one, that I was using that little trinket tray thing in my house tour you guys saw it was like overflowing with stuff my husband puts change in there he puts his work rings the rubber ones he'll put like key like spare keys in there pens like it was just overflowing so this one will look better and it'll fit all the stuff on there so I went ahead and picked this up they also have a green Christmas tree and a red long one that looks like a piece of candy but I chose the blue snowflake and then I needed some more Christmas stickers because I have a few more cards going out um, and I'm all out. All I have is washi tape and like stamps. A lot of people have been saying that those stamps that they got from Dollar Tree were doing, worked awesome. I think they're crap. So I'm glad I only spent a dollar. I tried stamping that red truck and it just looked like a blob. It would not, no matter how I held it how hard i pushed how light i pushed it did not look like a red truck so and all of them did that not just the red truck one so i just don't want to use stamps and i want to use um stickers so i never hauled this one i hauled all the other ones they're all pretty much the same um they all have like the penguins the snowman the trees the reindeer santa gingerbread man so I just picked up this one because it was different and I had never picked up this one. So this is just going to be for to have on hand for those last minute cards. And if I want to decorate the envelopes of the family card, Christmas cards that we were going to make or that we made and ordered, um, I can always decorate the envelopes for those that I'm going to be sending to family members that I won't be seeing. Like my mom and my sisters, I'll just give it to them when I see them. I won't have to mail it. So picked up another thing of stickers. Um, I picked up this little picture easel for my cutting my um, coaster that I got from the Target dollar spot that says Mrs. Claus cookie company it keeps sliding down on my counter over there by my red truck cookie jar it doesn't want to stay up so I'm gonna just prop it right on this so that way when I close my cupboard it doesn't fall sorry my son is playing with all the Hot Wheels he dumped them all out so that's what that noise is my husband picked up this truck. He opened these last night. So there's a Hot Wheel missing. It's over there in that pile. But he picked up this white monster truck looking thing. And this one was in a box with all the stocking stuffers stuff. So that's where this one was. And then he picked up this one in the actual car um, toy aisle in a Hot Wheels box. And it's a fire rescue truck. So, and then there, like I said, there's one more over there. My daughter picked up this whale. I don't know why, but she did. She wanted it. I said that was fine. Um, it's just sea life creatures. So it's just a whale. She's getting into stuff that she doesn't have. Like she'll pick out things that she normally wouldn't. So that's good. She's not always picking up the same stuff. But anyways, I also did pick up a bag of dinosaurs. I know Miranda just gave me some, but these ones were different. 
like different colored and different shaped like different style dinosaurs and it only had eight in it and I dumped it in the box with all of the dinosaurs so I can't show you guys that <clears throat> my daughter also picked up this princess squishy smells like chocolate and they also had an elf and a few other ones but she wanted the princess my husband picked up two of these Hot Wheels. I think one of them is going to a friend or a coworker. And it's a custom 56 Ford truck. So he got two of those. Um, I needed one of these little soap holders for my bathroom. My bathroom is gray for Nightmare Before Christmas. It's Nightmare Before Christmas in gray. Um, like my rugs and my soap and my toothbrush holder are gray. So I wanted to get this one so I can put that bar of soap that Miranda gave me with uh, Jack on it. So it doesn't just sit on my sink and get all nasty. I can just put it right on here. So I wanted to pick that up. I forgot to get this last night and I went and got it at the other one. I remembered. So I got that. Picked up another thing of Suave Bell fabric softener. Love the vanilla scent. Picked up one more of the wet wipes. The refreshing waterfall for my daughter because she's in her last package and my store doesn't always have those so that's why I, I always like once I open one I like to have one in the drawer so that way she doesn't run out because she's really sensitive to toilet paper it's really weird um, I picked up one more of these now this is the third one it looks like the other one that I hauled but if you hold the other one and this one together the other one's yellow this one's orange but it's like a it almost looks like this one, so that's why I almost missed it. Um, this one's the same name on there, though. They both have the same one, but they do smell different. This one's Konjac, and this one smells... I think this one's the best. So, I can't wait to burn these. I'm trying to burn my older candles rather than my new ones. So, it's taking me a while, and I want to do an empties video for you guys on pretty much just candles from Dollar Tree. So... I'm hoping I can get this one in time. I want that video to be in January, so I'm trying to burn through a lot of candles right now. This Dollar Tree had a bunch of the crafting stuff that I hadn't seen. This I've seen at my store and at the other one. So basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna paint these little clothespins, hot glue them to a long piece of twine, and hang it right in the middle and hang Christmas cards and make my own little thingy. They had the picture one and it has the two suction cups, but it only had six little clothespins and I wanna hang more than six pictures. So I just went ahead and picked up this 50 piece of the mini clothespins and I'll just paint these any color I want or I'll just leave them the tan color, they'll blend in with the twine. And then this I had never seen before and I have an idea for this and you get 325 pieces and it's they're all alphabet letters. So there's a ton in here. So I went ahead and picked up that this store had the fabric, and I almost picked up the red truck ones, but I already have a red truck plate uh, two-tier tray, so I went ahead and picked up the white and black buffalo check, and I think I want to do, I'm not sure what I want to do with this, but I wanted to pick it up because my Dollar Tree doesn't have this, but this Dollar Tree did, so I went ahead and picked up two rolls. Um, my sister's birthday is two days after Christmas, like I've said, and then my mother-in-law's on Monday, so my sister... Her favorite color is pink, so I picked up this pink gift wrapped, gift wrap wrapping paper so I can wrap her present. And then I'm gonna give each of the kids a marker and I'm gonna let them just color. And even if there's just a bunch of scribbles, I'm gonna let them color all over the present once it's wrapped. And I think she'll actually really enjoy that a lot more than it's saying just like happy birthday or something. Like at first she'll be like, what is that? And I'll be like, the kids colored on there for you. Like, I'm sure she'll like it. I got her, I never filmed a Black Friday video for you guys of everything we got for the kids. There's still a lot of stuff that we don't have here at the house and I just needed to get stuff wrapped so I wasn't waiting last minute because next week I'm going to be super busy, I'm going to have to work and then pack and get ready to leave on Friday. So I just needed to have that pre the presents wrapped and I didn't have time to film a video for you guys. So I got her a gift at Walmart and it's a huge wall decor and it holds like nine photos and then right at the top of it it says family it's huge it's really pretty and it comes with a really long shelf that you can like attach underneath it or to the side of it or whatever however you want and it holds up to like five pounds and then i'm going to get her some more stuff 
that she needs around her house. So I went ahead and picked up her card. I, you guys already know I love getting cards from there. So I picked up one for her and then I went ahead and picked up one for my mother-in-law. I was really bummed they didn't have one for mother-in-laws. I don't know if they were just out, but I could only find mom or grandma. So my kids don't call her grandma, they call her Mimi, but that's okay. I really love what this card says, so she'll be totally fine with it. So I went ahead and picked up two because they were two for a dollar. I got this list pad. I saw Linda, maybe? I don't know. Somebody hauled this list pad, and as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my god, I need that for my sister-in-law. And it says Cat Lady. And her and my mother-in-law use list pads as well on their fridge, so they will use this. And there's 70 sheets. They also had the one that said one cat away from Crazy Cat Lady but my sister-in-law only has one cat. So I just got this one for her and they had all the dog ones too. So I'll just give this to her now when I see her. Um, my daughter picked up this book. I was really happy to find this. Um, it's the SpongeBob Maze Mania book. And then it has the little thing of the, with the little ball that you try to get it through. She picked up that. Um, the co-worker that I was telling you guys about that my husband wants to zip tie the container. His grandma just had a stroke, I believe. And my husband, I guess, saw online somewhere or someone told him that getting, when someone has a stroke and they lose the ability to talk a lot or write a lot and they kind of have to like reteach themselves, it's good to give them like a coloring book and then like something to help them with their letters. So he picked up this coloring book for her. It's a giant one. It does have activities in it. My husband told that his coworker to pick up all this stuff and he never did. So my husband did it for him and was like, you need to give this stuff to your grandma. It's gonna help her. This one's the beginning sounds and it's pre-K to K and it has all the letters in there. So she'll be able to practice writing her letters. So we got those two. We got some colored pencils and some markers for her. I don't know if these are good brand markers. If they don't work, then we'll get her some at Walmart. Um, and then I went ahead and picked up this little pouch. I just tried to find a plain one that didn't really say anything on there. Um, there's like hearts and clouds and stuff and it has the three rings, but she can put all of this in there so that way she doesn't lose it all. So we went ahead and picked that up for his grandma. Hopefully it'll help her. And then I picked up this washi tape yeah, because I need more washi tape, right? But it was cute. And it has a slice of watermelon on it. It has a flamingo, a cactus. It has an ice cream cone, a rainbow, um, a toucan, a really pretty Hawaiian flower, So and a pineapple. So I went ahead and picked that up because that'll look really cute during the summer when I do some friend mail. I picked up six of these and I already have five of them that I'm using now. I had a lot of my kids toys in those collapsible bins and my kids destroyed them that they don't even look like a collapsible bin anymore. The sides are all caved in or it's stretched out. So I grabbed six plain white little containers. One has dinosaurs, one has Hot Wheels, one has like Leland's baby toys and then the other one has um, like Paw Patrol, PJ Masks, all her little figures. I have one left, so I can always use this in my pantry if I need to, or in the bathroom, or if, if I need it for their bedroom or more toys. So I went ahead and picked up six of them. I picked up my daughter another placemat because I need to throw away the other one that's really, really bad. And um, I need to do that when she's not here. Because if she sees it in the trash, she'll get, all <clears throat> she'll get upset. So I showed her this one and Finding Dory and she chose Frozen. And I think the rest of this is food besides my Reynolds wrap, foil sheets. I have a couple repurchases here, two more of the paper plates. So that way when I'm gone, if my husband runs out, he won't have to go to the, do you know, the Dollar Tree or whatever. He won't go when I'm gone, so. I picked up two more pizza crusts because if I don't have french fries, then I make two. If I have french fries, then I only make one pizza. 
So I just went ahead and picked up two to have. We needed some bread. I already opened it because I made my husband two sandwiches last night for his lunch today. Picked up five, four of these. Uh, it was the last four that they had. And I picked up two um, Lunchables, but the rest are in the fridge and the freezer. I didn't want to bring them all out just to show you guys. My husband picked up this in the store and he drank most of it in the store. Um, it's the strawberry melon brisk iced tea. He picked up a huge Mountain Dew. And then I picked up two boxes of Mike and Ike's for my jar in my bedroom. I can't fit both in there, but I'm sure I'm gonna need another box too. So picked up my husband a box of the Chewy Lemon Heads. He loves those. Shannon wanted some candy today, so she picked up the Lifesaver Gummies, Wild Berry, and she'll share this with her dad. I won't let her eat the whole thing. Picked up a box of Honey Buns. You get six. My husband loved these, so I picked up another box for him. I picked up another Funfetti because Miranda sent me one, so now I'll have four, and that way I can do two packages. I'm probably going to make one right now after this video. Um, I'll probably make some cookies, and I'll see if Shannon wants to help. If not, I'll do it tomorrow, but I got to start working on my treats and figuring out exactly what I need. If, I, if there's anything else I need to go to, the, to get at the grocery store for what I want to make, because I have to make those treats before I leave to go to my sister's because then when I come back, it's Christmas Eve and the next day I come back on Christmas Eve and the next day is Christmas and he's not working. So he needs to have that stuff ready to go and give it to them before then. Picked up two more chicken rice because I only have two left. And I picked up one more Parmesan cheese. And that is it for this Dollar Tree haul, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'd love for you to be part of my YouTube family if you're not already. And also, thank you again, my G and Sue. I really appreciate the Christmas cards. Stay tuned. Probably my next video, you guys will see stuff hanging up right there. Um, if it'll look okay, if it looks too busy right there, then I probably will have to find another place to do it at. But I do want to hang up some Christmas cards. So stay tuned for that. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.